Welcome to the lesson, Introduction to Computers. This lesson consists of a collective set of information where it will cover most of the ICT application module. Information and communication technology is the key for the advancement in technology in the 21st century. Therefore, since this will be the core of the main module, let's learn about the basics of a computer. Being a modern day student, you must have used, seen or read about computers. Computing has changed the world more than any other intervention. This is because they are an integral part of our everyday existence. As an example, school, banks, shops, hospitals or at home, Computers are present everywhere, making our work faster and easier for us. They are such a part of our lives and we must know what they are and how they function. If you need to type an assignment, if you need to send an email, if you need to contact your friends through Facebook or Instagram, if you need to transfer money to someone through an online transaction, if you need to enhance your business through digital marketing, then you would be making use of different types of computers. It could be a desktop computer, a laptop, or a smartphone. So, Let's go through learning outcomes of this lesson. After completing this lesson, you will be able to understand basics of a computer. From this lesson, you will be able to define a computer, describe the difference between data and information, and describe functions of a computer. As beginners, it is important to learn the fundamentals of computers and thus it will be a handy guide to get an understanding on software development process. So let us start with defining the term computer formally. What is a computer? Simply, the computer is used to convert data into information. The literal meaning of a computer is a device that can calculate. However, modern computers can do a lot more than calculations. Computer is an electronic device that receives input, stores or processes the input as per user instructions and provides output in the desired format. To understand the meaning of a computer clearly, you need to know what data and information are. Data. Data can be defined as the stream of raw facts, concepts, or instructions in a formalized manner, which should be suitable for communication, interpretation, or processing by human or electronic machine. Data is represented with the help of characters such as alphabets, digits, or special characters. Let us consider this example. 20,277,597. When you see this value, what do you understand? Do you find any meaning out of this? No. So this is an example for data. Let us move to understand what is information. Information is organized or classified data which has some meaningful values for the receiver. 
information can be defined as the data that has been shaped into a form that is meaningful and useful for human beings. For the decision to be meaningful, the process data must qualify the following three characteristics. It should be timely, it should be accurate, and it should be complete. Here, timely means information should be available when required. Then accuracy means information should be correct. And completeness means information should be complete. It should not be partially available. Information is associated with data. The difference is that information resolves uncertainty. Let's move on to the same example, 20,277,597. We know it does not have any meaning. We know it's just a value. Now let's consider this. We have included a context. It is the population of Sri Lanka as per the census held in year 2012. So now you can understand the difference between data and information. Information can be transmitted in time via data storage and space via communication and telecommunication, etc. It is expressed either as the content of a message or through direct or the indirect observation. That which is perceived can be constructed as a message and in that sense, information is always conveyed as the content of a message. Information can be encoded in various forms for transmission and interpretation. Also, it can be encrypted for safe storage and communication. Let us consider another example. Here you can see some data. There are some numeric values and some items like bottled water, air freshener. Now let's consider the table shown here. So the same previous data is converted to information. Now you can get a better understanding. So you can see a receipt where you can identify various items, the unit price, an item sold, and the total sales value. Therefore, in this example, you must have got an understanding how data is processed into information. Now we have got a basic understanding of what is a computer. And also we learn about the difference between data and information. Next, we need to understand the functionality of a computer. If we look at in a very broad sense, any digital computer carries out the following five functions. First step takes data as input. Step two stores the data or instructions in the memory and uses them as required. Step three processes the data and converts it into useful information. In step four, generates the output. Finally, in step five, 
controls all the above four steps. Basically, a computer accepts data and processes it to produce information. We call this process as data processing cycle. With that understanding, we can provide a better definition for a computer. A computer is a device that works under the control of stored instructions, automatically accepting input, storing and processing data to produce information according to the instructions available and the output, the information, which is the result of that processing. The key terms here are input, storing, processing data, information, and output. This provides a graphical illustration of the definition I gave you before about the computer. We need some devices to input data and process data to generate information and output information. We can call it as basic functions of a computer. The highlighted features in the definition are the key features of a computer. So let's go through them one by one. The input, we can consider devices like keyboard and mouse that are used to input data and instructions to the computer, we can, so we can call it as input unit. Then output, we can consider devices like print and visual display unit, for example, the monitor, which are used to provide information to the user in the desired format. Under processing, we can consider the two parts, control unit and arithmetic logic unit, or ALU. The control unit controls all the functions of the computer. All the devices or parts of compute interact through the control unit. Then ALU can be considered as the brain of the computer where all arithmetic operations and logical operations take place. Finally, we have storage. All input data, instructions, and data interim to the processors are stored in the storage. There are two types, primary memory and secondary memory. The primary memory resides within the CPU, whereas secondary memory is external to it. We'll be discussing about these individual components separately in next few lessons. To end the lesson, I want you to go through this activity. Please read through the activity. To end the lesson, I will summarize what we discussed today. We discussed what is a computer. Further, we explored the meaning of data and information. And in the next lesson, you will learn about 
elements of a computer thank you